How is the preparation going for your title fight? Yeah, the preparation is going very well. Uh, this is my third week in this camp and uh, I've been uh, you know, been training hard, things are going well. I've been mixing with good company, so uh, this boosts my confidence. And I'm looking forward to this, this title fight in October 8th. Mm -hmm. um, so you're going on the road for the title fight in, in France. So is there any concern that there might be something like a hometown decision or something like that? Yeah, obviously that's in the back of my mind, but um, you know, um, I, to be honest, to, to, to be to, to be fair, I'm actually thinking to and stopping this guy within 12 rounds. So um, yeah, obviously that'd be a bonus if I could do that. And um, I don't think he can take much much of my power because I'm a heavy hand, heavy hitter, like you know. And um, but look, if it does, then it's going to be close. It's going to be dodgy enough. So I got to take him out within four 12 rounds. Yeah, I mean he's been stopped before, so it, that's probably a plan. Yeah, and actually the guy he um, he fought actually um, it's you know he's six foot one and the same as myself, the same stance and everything and the right hands and so you know it just could be a bit of luck there as well. So definitely he's been stopped before. Mm. Um, and do you think that he's got a little bit like a padded record? He's got a pretty flashy record, but but mostly against unknown guys in, in hometown fights. Yeah, he has that. Like three, two wins over 23 contests is, is, it's you know, it's not bad, and I respect the fighter for that. But um, all in all, and I, I, I could be standing here and having 20 wins myself and, and, and fight nobody. But um, uh, yeah, I, I, the last guy he actually fought had a bit of a record. Um, Thomas Ad Admac, uh, light, light heavy. Um, he stopped him in four rounds. So I suppose yeah, he's going to be tricky though. You know, experience of 23 fights uh, should be good. Huh? Um, and what are your plans if you get past this French guy? Um, the plans is um, obviously the EU comes first. I think I have a, an Irish title fight in uh, November in Ireland, and um, it'd be great to get that as well. And then um, obviously move on to the European title. And the guy in England holds a net in Clevery. He yeah, fights yeah. for the interim WBO. So um, obviously the European title after this. Mm -hmm. So and. Um, uh, do you have any uh, particular experience with the Vladimir Klitschko camp that helped you prepare for the fight? Oh, definitely. Uh, confidence alone in any fighter, I think. A fighter needs confidence. And, and, and to be sharing the ring with a world heavyweight champion and, and the way I've been doing it, to be honest, um, with speed. I've been moving quick, fast. You know, good. I'm, I'm delighted actually the way things are going and it definitely, definitely has boosted my confidence for the fight. So, uh, for what did he use you? Uh, for, for speed primarily or...? Yeah, he, he, he's used me for speed, um, you know, the basically I think speed and, and, a, and a half speed skill, so I think it's going to benefit him as well, you know, obviously for his, for his fight.